How to successfully grow your eBay dropshipping business using bulk uploads. Uploading products to your store is probably one of the most important tasks that you have while running your eBay dropshipping business. Using bulk uploads, you can upload hundreds to thousands of products at once in a matter of one or two minutes when compared to manually uploading, which takes about five minutes per item. That's why in this video, I'm going to go over all that you need to know about bulk uploads and other bulk techniques that you have in your stores so you can save a lot of time and successfully grow your e-commerce business. So just watch this quick intro and let's begin. Hello everyone, my name is Liran from AutoDS. I'm the content producer and I've also been dropshipping for the last four years. So before we begin, I just want to encourage you guys to like this video because it really helps out our channel. Share this video so that your friends and family can also learn about the wild world of dropshipping. And subscribe to our videos so that you can always be updated on all of the cool stuff that's going on in the dropshipping world and watch cool videos like this one right here. So without further ado, let's get on to it. What is bulk uploading? What is it all about? And how can it help grow your eBay dropshipping stores? So we all know that time is money and bulk uploads saves us a whole bunch of time because once again, we can upload hundreds to thousands of products in a matter of just one minute. One other thing that bulk uploads gives us is the ability to implement the big numbers rule. And this is a very, very important strategy. If you guys never read about the big numbers rule, I highly suggest you to do it. Everything that I'm talking about in this video and all of the links to the blog posts are under this video. So all you have to do is just keep scrolling down and you will see a whole blog about everything that I'm talking about in this video with the links. So for example, you have the link to the big numbers rule strategy. And if you click on that, you'll be taken to the blog about the big numbers rule. And in this blog, if you just scroll down a little bit, I'm not going to go into it too much, but it's just a really good proven strategy to show you guys that the more listings you have on eBay, the less your expenses are. Most people think, wait, but if I'm going to have 10,000 listings, then I'm going to have the anchor. Okay. I'm going to have the anchor subscription, which is much, much more expensive than previous subscriptions. But if you read this article, go over everything that we wrote in here, you will see that at the end of the day, you're spending only 0 0.06 cents per listing on an anchor subscription when compared to the first store, the basic one, which you're paying 21 cents per listing or 17 cents for the one that comes after that, the basic store. So I highly encourage you to read this article. You're going to see things in a whole different way. It's going to open your mind to new numbers, bigger numbers, and that's exactly where you want to be in the dropshipping field. So that's one of the biggest advantages of using the bulk upload method is that you can actually implement the big numbers rule strategy and really make thousands of dollars of profit per month and not just tens of dollars or hundreds of dollars or however much you're making today. You don't have enough time to handle 10,000 listings without using the big numbers rule strategy and bulk uploading. So read that article and let's move on. The next thing that I want to talk about is using bulk upload methods for sourcing hot products. You can actually find hot products and upload them using the bulk upload method which means you're not going to be uploading thousands of randomized products and just hoping for the best. So the first bulk uploading method that I want to talk about is grabbing other hot sellers from other eBay dropshippers, or in other words, AKA sniping. Many beginner dropshippers use sniping to understand exactly which items they can sell, which products are trending and that match that fit the dropshipping business model. So let's see exactly what sniping means. What you have to do is find the product that's selling well for another eBay seller. For example, this seller over here, let's say this is a seller that I want to snipe. I want to take his items. So the first thing that you need to do is click on see other items over here on the right. Once you click on that on the left side, scroll down all the way and click on sold listings because you want eBay to only show you sold listings from this seller. So let's click on that. And here are all the products that the seller is selling. Now the next step is to copy the products title and to search it up on your supplier sites. Most dropshippers you'll find out are dropshipping from either Amazon or AliExpress. So start by searching those two and then move on to Walmart, 
Costco, Home Depot, and other suppliers that you can think of. As you know, AutoDS supports tens of suppliers and we're always working hard on adding more. So here's the item. We found it on Amazon. Amazon is selling it for $16.99. He's selling it for $24.99. So this is definitely a product that we can snipe. You can either copy the ASIN, which you can find up in the URL, or if you search for ASIN, you'll also find it here on the bottom. So that's the product ID that AutoDS is looking for. Now we're just gonna head over to AutoDS, click on Uploader, Bulk Upload, and here you can just paste the product ID, AKA the ASIN, or you can grab the whole URL. And I also advise to always look for items that are related to those that are selling well, because this way you can also find another product and start a new trend. Copy the ASIN or the URL, separate them by line breaks and rinse and repeat until you have at least 20 items for a bulk upload put in your settings over here and schedule upload for a later date and time or upload them right away to your shops so that's how you can snipe products from other ebay sellers that's the first method that i recommend to use when using bulk uploads the second bulk uploading method for sourcing hot products is simply by logging into your supplier's sites and seeing what's their best selling and most trending products as of now. For example, let's take a look at AliExpress. Let's head over to AliExpress, log in into your account. On the top right, click on My AliExpress, and then you'll have the option to see your dropshipping center. Click on Dropshipping Center, and here AliExpress is going to recommend all of their hot selling trending products so here's the example on the left side, we're gonna click on find products to sell. Once we click on that, AliExpress is going to show us their database of all of their hot selling products up to date. So here you have it, for example, here's all their hot selling products. Here are their current prices, how many orders that they have, how many of those orders are dropshipping orders, the products rating, the sales performance, and you can analyze it for further in-depth information of what's going on with this product with the sales history when it started selling and the graphs going up going down logistics reliability is excellent so you have a lot more detailed explanation of what's going on here when it's sold how many sold and in which dates so the aliexpress dropshipping center is one of the best places to start to learn which products are selling well without having to snipe other people other sellers this is another well-known method and it's a very used one because it's reliable and it works. It makes sense. So use your suppliers and see what their best selling products are, see what's trending and start to bulk upload those too. For example, let's say I want to grab this one and this one and this one, this furniture mover tool and this two style air cleaner, electric air cleaner tool over here. So let's grab those items. It's as simple, just like I explained before. Copy the URL. You can also copy the product ID if you have the AutoDS extension installed. We're gonna talk about that a little bit later. But if you have the extension installed, you can just copy the product ID over here because it gets it for you really easily. If not, just copy the URL like I explained before. Put it in your bulk products to upload. So this is one item. Here's the next one, line break. Next one, copy, line break, and so forth. Get to about 20 or 30 products and bulk upload that. By the way, you can do way more than 20 or 30, but I'm just not recommending to do anything below that because the whole point of bulk uploading is really uploading a bunch of items and not, you know, doing it almost the same as a manual upload. So that's the second method of how you can use bulk uploads to source hot products to your eBay dropshipping stores. Now, the third method that I wanna talk about to use bulk uploading for sourcing hot products to your store is simply by grabbing the best selling categories and niches from your suppliers. A little bit different from the method that I just talked about because on that method, you were sourcing products that didn't fit into the same category. This time we're going into a specific category, a specific niche, and we're gonna bulk upload the products from there. So for example, let's take Walmart this time. Let's go inside any category that fits dropshipping, patio and garden. Let's go with outdoor curtains. Let's say we, we research this one, it's selling good for us, or we saw that it's selling well for someone else, and we wanna grab this whole category. So here is a whole category page. 
I want to grab these items, but I want to grab the good items. I want to grab the items that people actually bought and that they actually approved it, they liked it, and they wrote a positive review. I don't want to grab items that don't have any customer re reviews if I haven't worked with this supplier or a certain seller before. So you always want to go for items that have social proof. And after they start working for you, then you can go and take it into deeper levels. So for this example, I want to sort it not by best sellers, but by highest rating. I want to grab only the items that have four or five stars. Anything below that is not good for my business model at this point. So here are a whole bunch of items that have five stars. We can just grab them one by one, just like I showed you before. I'll open them in new tabs and I'll copy them one by one into the uploader. By the way, this isn't the best method. Just bear with me a little bit more and I'm going to show you much better shortcuts to uploading a whole bunch of items. But let's say you're doing it this way. This is also a method to do it. Copy each URL and paste it into the AutoDS uploader like I showed you before. That's the third method for sourcing hot products using bulk upload. Now the fourth method that I want to talk about for using bulk uploads to source hot products is simply by grabbing the hot products from the sellers, but not eBay sellers this time, your supplier. Some suppliers have sellers inside of them, like AliExpress for example, so let's jump into that and see the example. Just grab any item over here, it doesn't matter which, let's say this basketball over here. And then you'll have the seller information on the top. Here he is, beautiful living store, very good feedback. This guy's been open for over three years and he has above average reviews. So this is actually a pretty good seller to grab items from. What you want to do is visit his store. So I clicked on visit store and here you'll see all of his products. Now he probably has a template. Yep, I can tell he does. Most sellers, most successful sellers make templates because as you can see, it looks a lot better. So you can grab all of these items. Like I showed you before, open each one in a new tab, but in just about a minute or two, I'm going to show you a much better method to do that once you have a lot of products and you want to save more time. So here is how you can grab all of a seller's products. And it's another good method to use if you know that a seller is selling hot and trending products and you can really succeed really well this way. Now, my fifth tip for you guys is to simply multiply your success. Every time you have something that's going well for you, if an item sells, even if it sells only once, start to multiply your success by trying to maximize the potential of each and everything that's going well for you. So once an item sells, start looking right away for more suppliers for relevant items that are related to this item. Start looking for different colors, different dimensions, accessories that go along with this product. Start thinking of everything that you can to multiply the success that you just had with this sale that you just had right now. Because once you do that, you will start to slowly and gradually build and build and find more items that are selling well. So always multiply your success, look for more suppliers, look for more colors, look for more variants, look for more items that are related to the ones that just sold well for you. Always try to multiply it as much as possible because once you start catching a wave, you can start getting bigger and bigger. And this is one of the best ways to do it. Multiply your success in every way that you can. Now, the next thing that I want to talk to you guys about is what I mentioned a couple times earlier. If you don't want to open all of the products in new tabs and have 10 or 20 tabs open and start killing that RAM on your PC, all you have to do is download and install the AutoDS Helper Chrome extension. And then you can grab whole complete product pages from your suppliers and upload them in whole without opening a whole bunch of new tabs. So let's see exactly how that works. First thing, go to Google and search for AutoDS Helper Chrome extension. It'll obviously be the first result that you see. So click on the link and install the Chrome. You'll have the option on the right side. I won't have it because I already have it installed, but this is how you do that. Once you have the extension installed, simply head into one of your product pages like the one we just talked about and let's see it without any template. So we'll just click on products so we can see all of the products under this guy's store. And here we go. Now I want to upload all of the products that I see here because this is a good seller and he's selling well and he's selling a trending product. So I don't want to open each one in a new tab. All I have to do is click on that circle. You see it right there on the bottom right with the AutoDS icon. 
that's what you're going to see once you download and install the extension so left click on that and simply click on the extract button now what just happened is all of the product ids that we see on this page just loaded into this little extension that we have over here the next step is to simply export it as a csv file and as you can see it downloaded the file for me over here on the bottom now i'm gonna head back to AutoDS. And in the bulk upload, I'm going to choose to upload bulk from CSV. So I'm not going to use this text field over here and separate product IDs by line breaks like I showed you before. We're just going to click on upload bulk from CSV. Go to the downloads and here it is, AliExpress export. We're going to import that over here. And that's it. All of the items that you just saw on that page are about to be uploaded onto my store. And it's that simple. Configure your upload settings. Click on schedule upload to schedule it for a later date or upload it right away to your store. And all of the products that you just saw over here are going to be in my store in just about a matter of 20 seconds. That's how simple it is using the AutoDS extension. I highly recommend to use it because you're going to save way more time than you thought you could. And this extension really helps you with grabbing items from your suppliers. It works with many different suppliers. If you don't have it, go read about it now. And once again, everything that I'm talking about in this video is on the blog below. So you have all of the explanations and all of the links. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about is using the AutoDS Finder. And this is especially good for those of you who don't have enough time on your hands or who want to diverse and get more marketing strategies, which is what I totally recommend to do. Because this way, you're also going to find products that you never thought would trend before. You're also going to sell products that you never thought you'd sell. And it's just an all around wonderful tool for finding new products to sell without spending any time whatsoever. So the way the finder works is you simply go into the finder on AutoDS on the left side, add finder credits, tell AutoDS exactly what type of products you would like uploaded to your store, those that sold an X amount of times. So let's take an example of how that works because it works much better that way. On AutoDS, on the left side, you have the AutoDS Finder. Let's click on that. This is a great method and it's also used in bulk. So once you have AutoDS credits, you can choose to upload products that sold three times in the last month, five times in the last month, eight times in the last month, or find products with a very high chance of coupons, which means more discounts. We're going to pay less than what we thought and we're going to make more profit. So let's say I want to grab 30 items. I want AutoDS to find 30 products that sold eight times in the last month. So on the eight times in a month, I want 30 products. Now what I'm going to do is click upload it. And now we're going to go back into that bulk upload section that we were before, except this time. I'm not, there is no text box. There is no CSV file. The products that are going to be uploaded are the 30 products from AutoDS Finder, which I just configured. So here I'm just going to configure the upload settings, the break even and all of that. And once again, you can schedule the upload for any time and date that you want. Upload the products right away to your shop or create a recurring upload, which means every time, every day at a specific time, AutoDS will do the same thing, which means if I create a recurring upload for today at 8 p.m. So tonight at 8 p.m., AutoDS is going to upload 30 of the best selling items that sold at least eight times in the past month for other dropshippers. And it's going to do the same thing every day at 8 p.m. Upload 30 more, upload 30 more, upload 30 more until I tell it to stop. This is a very, very good method if you don't have time. And once again, like I said before, if you want to diverse and add more marketing strategies, to find more hot niches to sell. So the AutoDS Finder is one of the best methods to use on bulk uploads for finding products to sell. That's it when it comes to using bulk uploading methods to sourcing hot products. There are a few different good methods and strategies here. Start implementing them and watch yourself grow. The next thing that I want to talk about using bulk methods, but not for uploading or sourcing items this time, but rather changing your settings on your stores using bulk changes. This saves a lot of time. You won't have to go inside each product one by one and make changes. So let's take a look at some of the changes that you can do while using bulk changes. Head over to the monitor section on AutoDS and in the products monitor, 
go down a little bit, click on the pencil icon to begin editing. And you see the last line down here, round price to 99 cents. This is a very good method, which is used once you click on it and click the view over here. It's going to bulk change all of the products in your store and round each and every one of the prices to 99 cents. So if you have a product that you're selling for, for example, $46.77, it's going to round it to $46.99. Rounding prices to 99 cents simply looks a lot better for the customer's eye. It's a proven method that works. That's why we added it to AutoDS. All you have to do is click that, save it, and it'll bulk round all of your prices to 99 cents. So that's one bulk change that you can make on all of your stores in just one click and save a lot of time along the way. Another one is if you click on orders monitor over here. And here you have a couple of things. Let's click on the pencil icon to begin editing and seeing the changes that we can make. So when a product is sold, I can change the price start price raise after let's say each cell after one cell i want to raise only for the first cell or raise on every time it's sold let's go for that one so each time a product sells at least one time i want you to raise the additional profit by percentage by five percent and let's say by another fixed price of two dollars for example the maximum percentage raise limit which means i don't want to have more than 15% more than what I have now and the same thing for the fixed price don't go over five dollars on the fixed price and the same thing if the product is not selling so what this does is it's simply a price optimizer which happens in bulk this dynamic pricing helps you make more profit on items that are selling for you and helps you have a higher chance of selling products that are not selling well for you why because on products that are not selling you can tell AutoDS to just drop the price after a certain amount of days and the same thing up here by percentage, by a fixed amount and the minimum that we want to drop. So one is good for making more profits on items that are going well for you and the other is good for helping you have a higher chance of selling items that are not selling well for you. This is price optimization. It happens in bulk and I really recommend you guys to use the setting because it really helps you optimize your store automatically. So those are the methods to make some bulk changes to your store and make some good profit along the way. Now, the next thing that I wanna to talk to you guys about is how to avoid uploading products that you simply do not want to upload. I'm talking about trademark products, copyrighted products, and products that eBay simply calls Vero products. You want to avoid uploading these kinds of products. They are not healthy for your seller account status we want to keep our accounts alive and we don't want to put up with Vero products. Simply head over to your uploader section in AutoDS and when you're uploading products, simply scroll down all the way and uncheck that allow Vero option. So let's say we're bulk uploading, scroll down and here allow Vero, just make sure it's not checked in. That's it. If it's checked in, AutoDS will upload Vero items. Don't forget that AutoDS has a large database of Vero products and they're always adding more and more. And this is obviously for your own protection. So if AutoDS scans a Vero product and you have this checked in, it'll upload it to your stores anyway. When you're bulk uploading, I truly do not recommend to do this unless you are sure that you know what you are doing. So if you're in the beginning of your dropshipping journey or your bulk uploading, do not upload Vero products, have this unchecked and go along with that. That's how you can avoid uploading products that are not good for you. Another way to do it is by setting your blacklisted keywords. Click on settings on AutoDS and here you have your Vero keywords blacklist. Click on that and here you can add a whole bunch of words that you don't want in your listings. For example, Amazon, or lifetime guarantees, things like that. Call us because you don't want anyone calling you. eBay also doesn't want to see your phone numbers and your email addresses. Link below, Prime. Think of a whole bunch of words that you don't want showing up in your listings. And you can tell AutoDS what you want it to do when they see such keywords on your uploads. So you can either remove the word from the title or from the description or wherever it is. Block it if it appears on the manufacturer or on the brand name block it if it appears on the title, 
block it if it appears in the description, or just remove the word from the title and upload it anyway. So Vero and Keywords Blacklist is another very important feature that you need to understand and use in your stores. This way, nobody will see any information that you simply do not want them to see. So updating your Vero Keywords Blacklist is another very important thing to do when you're using bulk uploads. Now, the next thing you can do using bulk changes is changing all of your titles and optimizing them because when you're uploading bulk listings, eBay is a keyword marketplace. eBay wants to see keywords. Your product title is the only thing that's going to get the customer to your listing. It's not the only thing, but it's the main thing that's going to get customers to your listings if they type out whatever title you're typing out. So you have to optimize the titles. Usually the suppliers that you're sourcing from, they usually know how to optimize titles by what people are searching for, but the more changes you make to your title and still keep it relevant to the product, the more unique you're going to be with your listing and the higher the chance that people are going to go inside your listing and not other people that are using the same titles over and over. So in your active listings, just grab a whole bunch of items. Let's say I want all of these items. So I'm going to click the checkbox up here. It's going to grab everything right now. I got 500 products selected. Once you click on that, it's going to take it a second because I grabbed 500 items, but here we go. Once you do that, you can change the titles one by one without having to go inside each product's full item editor and edit the title from there. It's going to take much longer. You're going to have to click to save each and every one of them. And here, once you write the titles, you just click save changes once and all of the titles will be edited in bulk. This is another very important method, especially if you're dropshipping from eBay, because once again, eBay is a keyword marketplace and your title is very, very important to getting the customer to go inside your listing and not your competitors who are using the same title over and over again. Once again, so use this option. It's a very, very good feature that we have on AutoDS to also save you the most amount of time because we all know how important time is. And the whole point of bulk changes is to simply save the most amount of time so that you can keep investing your time on growing your eBay dropshipping stores and not getting stuck on the same processes over and over again, which are simply limiting you from growing and expanding. Now, besides updating all of the titles in bulk, you also have other options. If you click on bulk change, you can replace all of the selected items, which I have 500 over here. You can change all of their break, even their profits, their prices, their tags. By the way, tags is very, very important. I highly encourage you to use tags so you can always analyze your products in the future and see exactly how they went, especially if you have holidays or to tag all kinds of different categories or niches and analyze them later. It's a very, very important feature and a lot of medium and advanced and expert dropshippers are using tags. Beginners usually don't know about it, so they don't use it. So if you're a beginner, start using the tags now. So here's all the options that you can make. There's more than enough options to make bulk changes here and simply save a whole bunch of time, which you really, really need. Another cool couple of features that you have using bulk changes is one, you can migrate your store. If you're using another tool, another dropshipping software, and you want to move to AutoDS, welcome, by the way, all you have to do is export your active listings into a CSV file, and then you can simply upload that CSV file using the bulk uploader, as I showed you in this video. If you have any questions, don't forget that we have a live chat open 24 seven for you guys. Just leave them a message and they will be more than happy to help you guys migrate. But it's very, very simple using the Chrome extension. And another cool thing that you can do with bulk is using the bulk delete feature. If you have non API stores, obviously you can delete in bulk right here and listing if you're using the API version, which you're seeing over here. But if you're using the non API version, you can also use the bulk delete feature. If you want to learn about that, simply check out the blog below. We have links to the blog and you can check it out for yourself and learn how to do that. Okay, guys, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but that's pretty much all of the information that we have for you guys on the subject of bulk uploads and using bulk changes to help you make changes to your settings in your stores, optimize your profits, maximize them, and use everything that you can in bulk to save the most amount of time because everybody knows, once again, time is money. Save as much time as you can, invest your time in growing your online e-commerce business. If you see yourself getting stuck on all kinds of tasks and you're spending way too much time on them, this is when you're not growing anymore and these are things that you need to solve. So bulk solves a lot of these problems that we have with the lack of time 
and you can really invest and grow your online business. So learn everything that you can about bulk. See this video again or read the blog below. And once again, I highly encourage you to like this video because it really helps out our channel. Share this video because your friends and family also deserve to learn about the wonderful wild world of dropshipping. And subscribe to our videos so that you can always learn about all kinds of cool methods and techniques that we have in the dropshipping world that other dropshippers simply do not know about. So thank you for watching this video guys. Good luck with your bulk uploads. Bye bye.